Hi YouTube, this is Low Budget, and in this video I'll be showing off the Cool Deck, which is a cooling mod for the Valve Steam Deck that'll reduce your APU temperatures by about 10 to 15 degrees without any external modifications or fans. I previously made a version of the Cool Deck for the LCD Steam Deck about a couple years ago. Um, I just recently decided to make one for the new OLED version Steam Deck. I'll be showing that off today, as well as a new version of the Cool Deck for the LCD Steam Deck. I decided I'm not going to do any thermal testing, just because, uh, you know, that would require doing a bunch of, you know, testing with a stock Steam Deck, then installing the mod, and then doing a bunch more testing with different games, different settings. And it's just, uh, I decided, you know, if someone else wants to do that, that's fine. I guess I'm just too lazy. Um, I did that with the previous version of the cool deck, um, which actually had a M.2 heatsink uh, sticking out the back. And while that worked really well, it just wasn't very uh, convenient and uh, you couldn't fit it in most cases and it caused other problems. So uh, the new cool deck is just a flat copper plate and it doesn't work quite as well as that version, but it fits entirely inside. Um, actually the one I have here is almost a silver color. Uh, well, uh, that's cause I nickel plated this and originally I had planned to make it an option to get one nickel plated, but, uh, uh, it takes a long time to do that. And I was having inconsistent results. So I'm just, uh, only going to offer it in a bare, you know, copper finish. Um, this isn't included or anything, but, uh, I did a little, uh, NVMe heatsink uh, works really well um, as long as you're not as long as you remove the original M EMI shield it fits really nice in the Steam Deck. Uh, to install the Cool Deck um, it's pretty easy you know you just have to remove the back plate um, remove the original EMI shield um, you know replace these two screws and then uh, you know, you can replace the original thermal paste or you can just install the cool deck right on top of what was there. Um, and for best results, you want to put uh, thermal paste between the original heat sink and the new cool deck plate. So here's the two versions. Um, Here's the new version I designed for the OLED Steam Deck. And uh, here's the new one I designed for the LCD screen Steam Deck. Um, it's basically the same shape as the previous one I made, but it's completely flat now, so it easily fits inside without any cutting in the back of the case or anything. Um, the LCD version, um, it uh, requires some thermal pads which are included. Um, they just replaced the thermal pads that were originally there. Um, fortunately, I don't have my LCD screen Steam Deck anymore, so I can't show off the new version installed in that. But it is, you know, identical to the one in, you know, shape anyway to the uh, previous ones I made. So it does, you know, work and it's been thoroughly tested already. Uh, if you're interested in the Cool Deck, uh, they're available on Tindy.com. Uh, right now, I make a limited numbers of them. Uh, once that's gone, um, I'll, I'll either you know make some more, or I'll just uh, decide to release the design files so someone else can make them. But yeah. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, thanks everyone that, uh, you know, bought previous versions of the Cool Deck. I really appreciate it. Uh, and uh, thanks for watching.
Till next time.